Hey guys, we have a Dell Optiplex 780 here. I'm going to show you how to remove the hard drive. Uh, the reason I'm removing it right now is because uh, I couldn't find a way to uh, to break the passwords on, on this Dell for some reason. So it won't reach the proper screen. Uh, the only way to do it is with a, a repair CD or an installation CD. So I'm going to, I'm going to show how to do it with, without any kind of software. But for this Dell, you have to remove this hard drive. So um, be careful these tabs. These things break really easily. So it might actually break right now. But first, pull out the... Make sure you ground yourself uh, before you touch anything here. So you're holding the power supply and you're touching something that's grounded. Like a power supply or something. Um, so I also have mine plugged in. So that's a kind of like a ground. So pull out your eSATA with this little string here okay so now you're left with the the power source so uh, just grab it on the sides here with your fingers and uh, wiggle it wiggle it out here try not to pull too much by the cables all right so I got mine out there just by wiggling it a bit. Uh, okay, so move that aside. These cables aside here. And uh, then gently press these. These things will break like really easily. Don't press them too much. You just want enough to get out of that, that uh, metal. Okay, so uh, these tabs were uh, connected to the metal. Uh, so um, you just want to move this tab just enough to uh, make it release from this metal thing. If you push this too much, it'll break. Then you have a problem. Okay, so I'm going to pull this hard drive out. Okay, so um, you could just leave it in this plastic. You don't need to remove this plastic necessarily. So all you need to do here is um, access these um, the the eSATA. A terminal which is on the, on the back here so uh, you basically need to uh, plug this into another computer uh, but but you're also going to need a, a power supply for this so this one is using uh, this connector here so you're gonna have to take um, either leave this thing connected to this power supply and then run your eSATA to, a, to another computer or a laptop on the laptops they have eSATA on the side of the laptop or if it's another computer like this one it has an eSATA also on the back of the, the computer so um, uh, I'm gonna try to uh, connect this into a, another computer maybe running off of this power supply